Welcome back to New Rock Stories. I'm Eric Voss, and Marvel's villains are party crashers who never really leave. Sometimes because they make the party better. Sometimes because they lock themselves in the bathroom and charge you to use it. But here's the thing: Marvel has confirmed more of these past villains to return in upcoming titles. Zemo from Civil War as the villain in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and the real Mandarin coming in Shang Chi. They're even bringing back Jamie Fox Electro from the Sonyverse into the MCU Spider-Man Three. Uh huh. And when you run down this list, most of Marvel's past villains are perfectly set up to return. Even the losers we haven't thought about in years. So I'm gonna break down the 30 forgotten Marvel villains and explain where we might see them next. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build you a beautiful online presence and run your business. Okay, let's start with a villain we'll never forget, actually. Thanos, the ultimate big thick bad of the Infinity Saga, and a dude we did see die twice, but you know the rule, guy dies once, no questions, guy dies twice, how many times are we gonna go through this? It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. And with Avengers Endgame splitting the MCU into a multiverse of timelines, theoretically, alternate timeline versions of Thanos still exist, like in that timeline Loki just escaped into, uh oh. Now, it seems doubtful that we will see the adult conqueror Brolin Thanos again anytime soon, but there has been speculation that we will see a young Thanos origin story as a subplot in the Eternals film. I broke it down how that could be a very cool way to explore the genetic history of the MCU. But let us jump back to the beginning. The Ten Rings and the Mandarin. The terrorist network behind Raza reappeared in Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, the All Hail the King short, and even Ant-Man. And then radio silence. But Tony Leung is playing the true Mandarin in Shang-Chi, which is gonna be a martial arts tournament movie that I've speculated could lead to a Beyonder Battle World Secret Wars event. Then from the first Hulk film, Thunderbolt Ross came back for Civil War, Infinity War, Endgame, and now it seems Black Widow, leading many of us to think that he is destined for his turn as Red Hulk, either in the She-Hulk series, maybe a future Avengers film. But also still alive from that film is Abomination Emil Blonsky, who in 2017, Kevin Feige confirmed remained locked in a prison somewhere. Same goes for the leader, Samuel Stearns, last seen with his cranium bulging out, likely being set up as the tall domed head of the intelligentsia. Feige was asked about him in a post-Endgame Reddit at AMA and he suggested that no character is forgotten. And that also goes for Justin Hammer. He vowed to dance back in the MCU one day. I'm gonna make a prom for you. I'm gonna be seeing you again real soon. He did make a brief cameo at Seagate Prison in that All Hail the King short, and his company's weaponry cameoed in Luke Cage on Netflix, which I don't think is MCU canon. It would just pose some glitches in the Matrix with Cornell Stokes, aka Blade, and Mariah, aka Pissed Off Civil War Mom. But with Iron Man 2, we gotta talk about Ivan Bonko. Whiplash. He almost certainly croaked in that self-destruction blast in the Biodome, but there had been some stretch theories that his Russian background could tie into Natasha Romanov's past. Natasha. Sure. Daughter of Ivan. Because uh, he knows your daddy's name. I didn't. Daughter of Ivan could have just meant daughter of generic Russian name, or even a nod to the father figure from the comics, Ivan Petrovich Bezukov, who did return as a creepy incesty cyborg in the comics. Really, that theory of Whiplash being Natasha's dad is a retcon I don't think anyone wants. Now, we do know Loki is returning after Avengers Endgame and his own Disney Plus series next year, but he's not forgotten, and he's not really even a villain at this point. He's just more of a bad boy. But on to Red Skull, that retiree keeping that nine to five as Soul Stone Keeper on Vormir and Infinity War and Endgame. Earlier this year, Ross Marquand stated that the directors confirmed that after the Soul Stone is claimed, Red Skull is free to roam, and that he might return to Earth with a vendetta, or become a godly observer intervening when called upon. But I guess it would be kind of cool to see Red Skull return in other ways, like that superior being plot with Adam Warlock in Guardians Volume 3. More on him later. And yes, we do know the Falcon and Winter Soldier is bringing back Zemo in an apparent plot to assemble Dark Avengers replacement team, the Thunderbolts, along with Spoiler warning for this Disney Plus series, because this isn't official yet. Batrock the Leaper, with Georges St. Pierre showing up in set photos, perhaps a member of that Thunderbolts lineup. Next, Ultron, we have made many theories about. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Peter found an Ultron sentry head with its red eyes glowing, which was supposed to mark Ultron's consciousness in that particular drone. Now yes, Vision did seem confident when he kept Ultron's digital spread to the sentries within the Sokovian city, and he seemed to have eradicated the last of them down 
down to that last one. That fun detail was the same one Cap tossed off the ledge earlier. But whether Peter's sentry head or a dusty blinking server in the Sokovian ruins, I just pray that this is the dawning of the age of Ultron. I really forced that, I'm sorry. Ant-Man villain Darren Cross Yellow Jacket appeared to die a horrific death. <laughs> But director Peyton Reed hinted that he might have just disappeared into the quantum realm, a place he's going to be exploring even further in Ant-Man 3. If Cross is still alive, he's going to be short and arm because it shrunk before the rest of them did. Can we stop showing that, please? But before we move on, thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Are you looking for a website to sell your wares? You got some sexy Phil Coulson art that the world needs to see? Well, you can present your work using Squarespace's professional portfolio designs, display projects and customizable galleries, and add password-protected pages to share private work with clients. You can auto-post your content to Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. You can also easily import from Instagram, Twitter, and other platforms to give your site the personal visual flair that you want. Squarespace will even sell you a URL. Now, I'm not sure if ericvossmarvelmusicals.com is available, but if it is, Squarespace will sell it to you. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to our custom URL in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, Doctor Strange left the door open for Mordo's return in the post credit scene. Too many sorcerers which I have recently interpreted as a mission to kill an out-of-control Scarlet Witch in Multiverse of Madness, as opposed to saving her, which I think will be Strange's goal. Additionally, Dormammu remains a very active threat in the Dark Dimension, especially now that Strange no longer has the Time Stone to keep him at bay with the threat of a tortuous Groundhog Day time loop. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 left us with Aisha and Adam Warlock. I think I shall call him Adam preparing a comeback against the Guardians, probably in Volume 3, if it ever happens. Spider-Man Homecoming left a lot of loose ends with Adrian Toomes Vulture, Scorpion Matt Gargan, and someone still out there, Shocker, Herman Schultz. And Toomes, at least, is confirmed to reappear in the Sonyverse Spumsy in Morbius next year. Now, we're still waiting to see how much Sony's Sinister Six plans tie into the main MCU, because, you know, Sony and Disney Marvel are separate studios for now. Thor Ragnarok expanded that world with all kinds of goofballs who could return. Jeff Goldblum's Grandmaster was left alive, for now at least, facing the Sakaar revolutionaries. I'm proud of you all. This revolution has been a huge success. Yay us! But I think it's still open-ended exactly what happened to Hela, who appeared swept away by Search Her Sword, but she is an Asgardian demigod, and Thor proved that they can survive in space. And same goes for Surtur, who likely could have returned to Muspelheim after torching Asgard. Now, some theories pose that Killmonger could resurrect after his dramatic end in Black Panther. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. With one theory being that his corpse could be reanimated by the undersea rival kingdom of Atlantis and Namor. But remember, much of Black Panther 2 is still probably being reconfigured. And again, Marvel, just take your time. No rush on that. Ant-Man and the Wasp villain Ghost was another loose end. Scott's trip to the quantum realm in the post credit scene was intended to retrieve quantum healing particles to help Ghost's phase-shifting condition. But then the snap happened, and five years later, she's still hanging out somewhere. Similarly, we never really got answers on the mysterious buyer of Sonny Birch. My buyers don't take no for an answer. And I have promised results to some dangerous people. With theories speculating Oscorp, Roxxon, Hammer Industries, or AIM, the weapons company of the late Aldrich Killian. Captain Marvel left alive Yon Rog and the Kree, an imperialist threat to the planet I definitely think is coming back in the Captain Marvel sequel or secret invasion plots, which the recently announced Fury Disney Plus series looks like it could be setting up with evidence of a Kree Skrull Shadow War on Earth. I thought Kree having sleeper cells was top secret information. The same goes for the Kree zealot Ronan, who also promised to return. We'll be back for the weapon. The core. The woman. Now remember, Ronan dies in 2014, so any return by him must mean Captain Marvel 2, Fury, or whatever else he comes back in must be a prequel story. Now let's talk about Brock Rumlow, Crossbones, and Hydra. They appeared to meet their end with Captain America Civil War, with Wanda making sure he felt every second of it. But again, all the timeline middling of Avengers Endgame brought him back, along with Sitwell. Hail Hydra. 
suggesting some hypothetical alternate timeline with Rumlow in which Hydra believes Captain America to be one of their own. I don't know if Marvel will ever return to this idea, but it is one of many alternate Cap histories I am dying to see someday. We've also made theories about the return of Mysterio based on Peter Parker stupidly failing to ask Edith any follow-up questions. Is this real? All illusions are down, Peter. We also know that Team Mysterio is much bigger than a living Quentin Beck. Remember, box of scraps! Reva delivered that Doctor footage to J. Jonah Jameson. Are you sure you want to commence the drone attack? There will be significant casualties. Do it! Execute them all! So, alive or dead, the fake news illusions of Team Mysterio can continue to ruin Peter Parker's life for years to come. Our final forgotten villain is perhaps the one I'm most excited about. Arnim Zola! The Captain America villain the filmmakers keep bringing back in disembodied form in Winter Soldier and a tiny cameo in Endgame. The screenwriter stated wanting to turn Zola into the MCU's MODOK, mental organism designed only for killing, rumored to appear in an upcoming MCU title. This would bring Zola full circle with the android body his early blueprints intended him to live on in if you were looking closely in that first Cap film. So there you go, that's at least 30 villains the MCU could revisit in upcoming titles. And that's not even counting the new villains coming ahead in the pipeline. Kang the Conqueror, Mephisto, Nightmare, Gore the God Butcher, Doctor Doom, Magneto, Galactus, Norman Osborn. So many reasons to be afraid. But hey, at least those villains are fictional. Come on and talk about these Marvel theories with me on New Rockstar's official Discord server by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Thank you for watching. Boom. <laughs>